Argo Knits. My name's Anita and this is where I share my knitting, sewing and crafting with you all. I hope you've had a nice few weeks since we chatted last. Um, I hope you had a happy Christmas and a happy new year. It all seems so long ago now but I think we're on about the 22nd or 23rd of January so it wasn't that long ago. Uh, but it's all gone by in a whirl and back to work back to reality with a bump. Um, today I have some crochet, knitting and a frog to share with you. So let's start with crochet or an explanation maybe would be better. Which way to start? Which is the best way to start? Let's start with an explanation on my projects that I worked on through December and January. So in December, I wanted to join along with Tina from Simply and Stitches was doing a Christmas or a December make along where she was going to make a jumper, knit a pair of socks through December to wear on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And then also she wanted to make a fox out of the Knitted Animal Friends book. And I wanted to join along. So I already had a jumper in mind. I bought the yarn and everything. And I was going to make the Poppy Jumper by Susan Crawford. And I bought the King Cole Merino Blend 4-ply for that. And I, I think I might have already started it. But it was just a, a casual make log. So it didn't matter if you were making things. There wasn't any rules. And for the socks, I chose a beautiful yarn that I had received a little mini from Ellie from Craft House Magic uh, of this yarn and I asked her if I could have some of that and she had to make it up for me because she didn't have any in stock and that was called Christmas is all around and it was four ply I will explain it more when I get to my projects um, so she made that for me and then also um, I was going to make out of the Knitted Animal Friends book I've already made Charlie which is George the dog in the book but I made, changed the colours to be like my old English sheepdog Charlie who sadly passed away two years ago now oh, I think I've got a hair so I forgot to say I'm wearing the Bonnie jumper by Kim Hargreaves and the yarn is Drops Kid Silk in Pearl Grey but it's really a uh, very light lilac and it's lovely and soft but very warm because it's freezing here in, in South Wales at the moment and I think one of the fluffy hairs has gone in my eye because it's annoying me so I'll try stop fiddling with it. So anyway, sorry. Um, so I made Charlie, I've already made Charlie and Tina was making the fox so I said I'd make her a pair of dungarees because Charlie was a girl and there's some beautiful dresses for little girl animals in this book but because I've got two grandsons I didn't think they would play with Charlie much if she was wearing dresses so she's going to have dungarees so I was going to do that but I needed three millimeter DPNs which I don't have so I also ordered those from Ellie at the same time and um, she um, put them in the post to me on the 2nd of December, first class, and they didn't get to me until the 20th of December because of the Royal Mail strikes. So that scuppered my plans for my make along with Tina. So um, I did work on the jumper uh, um, and I also worked on something else that I'd already started, which was the Happy Holidays Tree Skirt um, and I crocheted this all the way through December and way into January, way past the time the Christmas tree had gone back in the attic but I kept going because you increase on every row and it just got bigger and bigger and took longer and longer and I used Mariner Aran weight yarn and very sadly over the Christmas period Shaw's the Drapers which was the shop that sold the Mariner yarn and I believe then the Mariner yarn online because you got it through the shop they went into voluntary liquidation <clears throat> and all the shops have shut it's really sad but I looked online to see 
if they were doing um, still selling the yarn because I know they had their own flocks of sheep and things and it says um, that there is a website but it's under maintenance I think so either they've closed it down or they are organizing selling the yarn separately so I'll keep an eye on that and, and let you know but I used the so the iron weight yarn I can't remember the colors obviously it's dark green red and white because I like the traditional colors um, and I'll put the information either under the video here or in the notes or maybe both. Um, so I did finish it. I had two balls, two 100 gram balls of each colour and I used all of it. Uh, even to the point when I got to the end I um, sort of ran out. But I put this tinsley yarn on the end that I had in my stash and also down the sides to make it look more Christmassy. Um, and I've laid it out on the floor so I can show you a proper picture of it all together. I did have a problem with the pattern. It's a free pattern because I didn't quite understand the instructions. I'm not very good at crochet. And then I watched the video and the video for the stitch was more about the stitch than pattern it covered two different patterns one that didn't have increases and one that did so I've fudged it I think I've done it right or I've done it consistently wrong and made my own thing up but I am pleased with it but I do wish that I'd finished it while the tree was still up and I could have put it underneath but I think it's quite a nice idea because when you put your Christmas tree up or when I do if I've bought presents for people I put them underneath um, but after Christmas Day, when all the presents have been opened and then you've just got the bare tree, that would be a good time, I think, to put the skirt on rather than at the beginning and then squish it with the presents. So anyway, hopefully this year that will go on there. So um, first of all, I'll show you the two, well not the two, so that was the one thing I worked on through December and January and I will show you the poppy jumper that is by Susan Crawford that I've been working on. Now, I haven't done much on it lately because I have been distracted with other things that I'll explain in a moment. So, um, basically, let's see if I've got the picture. You knit this in pieces and then stitch it together. And there's the picture there. Um, I'm not really fussed on the high neck, but I'm not quite sure how to make it deeper with the colour work. So I'm going to leave that as it is, but I am going to lengthen the sleeves. And I am working on the back. I'm not sure what size I'm doing, but I will look it up, put it on the screen. And this is the back so far. So I've done the ribbing and all the... Or am I working on the front first? You see, I haven't worked on it for so long. I think this is the trouble when you have so many whips. You don't really know where you are, do you? Usually you start on the back. So let's have a little look. I think it is. Yes, yeah, so I'm doing the back first. And apparently, what is slightly unusual with this pattern, because it's a vintage recreation, um, is they don't use didn't used to put the colour work very often on the back of the yoke, just the front, but this has got it on the front and back. So it's quite nice to work on. Um doesn't really bother me colour work. I like Susan Crawford's patterns because they are I can always read them all right. I've um I'm following the chart to do the colour work. The only thing is because it's back and forth in knit and pearl. Well, there's two problems with it, really. Well, it's not a problem as such. I hold the yarn in both hands to do the knit row. And coming back in the purl row, I can't do that. I have to just lift the yarns over, which is fine. But also, you have to pay attention as to which side the yarn ends up on. Because, um, say, for example, you might use the red um, for a row when it ends here. And then you might not use it for a couple of rows. But then it... The next time it might need to start over here so um, you have to watch when you need the different color yarns and make sure you've carried it across 
that makes any sense. So I'm really enjoying this. It's lovely. I enjoy it. The, the yarns are, are nice. I think I've shown you before the different colours. I think they all go very well together. Not very good at holding them all at the same time. But pretty much they're the colours. Um, and I should get back to that. But I've sort of put it to one side because I think it's um, slightly lighter weight and it's very chilly here so I won't be wearing it anytime soon. So there's that project. That's the only one that's car carried on through from December. Then, because I couldn't join in with Tina from Simply in Stitches because my yarn and needles didn't come in time, I just pretty much concentrate on the concentrated on the tree skirt because I was trying to get it finished for Christmas or over Christmas at least and that jumper but in the after Christmas um, Ange from Yarn and Yarn started her 12 casts on 2022 where she casts on 12 different projects over the Christmas period to she does, starts them all off puts them all in the project bags and then works on them through the following year hence 2022 but it is actually 2023 and um, I'll link her um, channel if you don't already watch her and you can go across and she can explain it far better than I can but I thought I would join in with her and um, cast on some new projects not 12 but three because I couldn't cope with 12. I don't know how she copes. And she doesn't even cope with 12 because she might have some from the year before and the year before. Not for me, but I've cast on three. So I have cast on, um, so firstly, we'll go to the, I cast on for Charlie, who's looking very dejected here, her dungarees. And um, I use the recommended yarn we just get the some of the projects are still in Christmas bags because I started them over Christmas or I set them up ready in the bags to go to work with Tina through Christmas so I've just left them in there because that's when they were meant to be started and they're so pretty they're just a shame just to put them away and only use them in December sorry I wobbled the camera then so Charlie's trousers are in here they're in this lovely bag I think these are Amelia Joy bags and it's really big because usually I keep the book in there as well um, so it needs to be big to fit that in and I am using this yarn which is the Scapies um, what have we got on the other page because I wrote notes. I am using the Scapies Skies Light um, and then you were supposed to cast on the bottom of the dungarees using the three millimeter deep ends that I had to wait for and then change to I think it was 3.25 um, oh no because I've got them in here Oh, 3.5 but I only realized that when I cast on the second leg and I realized that I'd knitted the whole first leg in just the three mil so I'm sticking to that now um, but Charlie's only got she's only got skinny legs I think I think they'll fit fine so now I have started knitting the the top portion so for around her bottom, there is a hole here for her tail to stick out of. And then um, shortly I'll be starting to just do the bib um, on, the, on, <clears throat> on those. So they oh, nearly lost my stitches then. There are quite a few stitches on the DPNs because they should now be on the circular 3.5 needle general scheme of things doesn't really matter um, and the dungarees are not for the dog the dungarees are for one of the other animals but like I say I wanted to do dungarees 
because of my grandsons are not the dresses. Although I might knit another one of these toys for me and have the dresses made because they are so cute. So no other horse is meant to wear the dungarees, but I'm they are all the different outfits fit all the different animals, so um, it's not a problem. But Charlie's getting very impatient. She wants her clothes because obviously she's been shaved. When she, our real old English sheepdog, we used to keep her hair short like this most of the time. So she'd be a bit chilly, wouldn't she, without any clothes? So that was the first one that I've cast on to join in with Ange. And there is a hashtag. If you want to join along, you can join in. Um, you can do any cast-ons up until the end of January. So we've still got a little bit of time. I'm doing this video a little bit early because in work we're very, very busy. Um, I work in an accountancy firm and we are doing tax returns right up to the 31st of January and it gets absolutely manic. Um, I've had to do a bit more. I've had to do some overtime and things and I know I'm going in tomorrow. It's Monday today and Tuesday is usually my day off as well but I'm going into work, so I thought I'd do it today while I've got a chance. Um, so anyway, that was the first one. And then, rather than Christmas socks, I decided I would make some mittens with the yarn instead. This is the, the um, little free sample that she sent me that I thought was so so pretty with all the little nets in it looked like snow it's sort of vintagey rose and green it was absolutely beautiful colors i can't describe them very well and i'm doing the short and sweet fingerless mitts and i have actually finished the two and all i have to do now are the thumbs and it's not even a thumb it's just like the ribbing around the thumb but I just moved on to something else then. I nearly finished. I just got to finish them. Um, so there they are. And you have a little bit of lace work here in sort of triangle. Obviously I haven't blocked it or anything. And then just fing the fingerless ribs. And I've just got to do pick up some stitches around there and then I can wear them. So they're really pretty. I like all the nets in them. They look they look just really nice with the yarn like that sort of old, um, I don't know, really like them and I have lots left. I'll have to weigh how much I've got left but there's the yarn balled up. So I'm doing those instead of socks because I thought the yarn was so pretty. It's such a shame to put them in boots because at the moment it's so cold I'm wearing boots. And you can't see them and yet if I have my fingerless gloves you can see them all the time. So that was the second one and the third one was I decided to cast on a another jumper which I shall get now. And this one I'm keeping in my jolly chunky bag, crochet bag from um, the lady who does all the crochet things, which I will write underneath because her name has totally gone out of my head. And I am making the penny sweater. Now I bought this pattern quite a while ago. It's in black and white here, but I might insert a, what you can see. It's sort of lacy all on the front and then it's got a lace panel down the side. And all this is in pearl. And again, it's a jump unit in the flat. So if you don't like pearl, stitching I wouldn't recommend doing this one and um, I bought some yarn um, from Cooks and Crafts to make this quite a while ago and it had a fleck in it that I thought was absolutely beautiful but I didn't like it in the pearl I just it just the the colors just got lost in the pearl stitches so I thought it would be better in a plain yarn so I'm using Drops Merino Extra Fine um, here and this color does it have a colorway i don't know it says color 15 but it's a sort of pale green sagey green color it's really nice lovely and soft and um you start with the sleeves which is a bit unusual i am doing the size 
40 inch chest which is the medium to large and the cropped version um, so you start with the ribbing you knit in the round you do lots of purl oh I said you knit in the flat you don't knit in the flat uh, you knit in the round but you do the sleeves first and then obviously we'll do the body and then join them on um, but there is a lot of purling and the pattern, the lace work is at the side um, and it is a paid for pattern. It's very nice, very easy. I drew out the chart myself to put in my little book, my notebook, um, and then I just tick it off as I go along. Um, and because this is DK yarn, it's knitting up quite quickly. Um, and I think this jumper, although it's meant for the spring summer I think by the time I finish it will be that time anyway so and I can wear it with, over my dresses or maybe with a long t-shirt underneath something like that and the the yarn I bought um, quite a while ago anyway still in my stash I decided I didn't like the cooks and crafts yarn so I bought this one and then I just didn't use it and although I haven't done New Year's resolutions this year I always think the same thing every year Use your yarn from stash. Don't buy any more sewing patterns till I've sewn up the ones I've already bought. Um, so I am trying to do that and I'm not buying any yarn until I go to Wonderwall in April. Is anyone else going to Wonderwall? Uh, Wonderwall, if you don't know, is in the uh, Royal Welsh or the Bilth Wells Royal Welsh Showgrounds and it's the bigger, biggest Welsh fibre festival. And I go every year with my friend Paula and it's in April and it's a brilliant day out. Um, it's easy to get to, lots of parking. I'm going on the Sunday. If anyone else is going on the Sunday, we can meet up if you like. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And that's when I'm going to have a splurge and buy some nice Welsh yarns. So the only other thing is a frogging. Well, I don't call it frogging. I think that's an American term. Um, um, and I think it's come from when you rip it out, it's like rip it, rip it, a bit like frogs, I don't know, I just say I'm going to undo something, but it doesn't sound as dramatic does it, undoing something, and that is here, I've started this several months ago, and there's nothing wrong with it, it's a crochet shawl, a two skein shawl, four ply, um, and it's called the Coles River Kerchief, and I think I started it using the wrong size crochet hook. Oh, it's a theme here, isn't it? And then, um, so I undid that and then start used the proper size, which is a five mil hook. But I still, I don't just don't like how it's working up. I think I'll do the pattern again, but I will use a different yarn again. I think it doesn't show the yarn off to best effect when it's crochet so um, this is the yarn it's another one from Cookston Crafts beautiful yarn and it's in the spring pansy colorway so I had two of these and I just think it would look nicer in something knitted rather than crocheted so I'm going to undo that because I just every time I look to reach for a project I see that and I skip over it and do something else so I don't think I'm ever going to do it and I don't want it just sat there forever and waste the yarn so I'm going to undo it put it back in my stash and save it for something else and then uh, possibly make the pattern again using something else because it was a paid for pattern and I have bought it so I do want to use it otherwise it's a waste So that's everything I've been working on over the last few weeks, so sort of December, January. Um, I hope you've been managing to find time to work on some of the crafts that you like. I have also done a little bit of sewing repairs. You would, I've got two dresses ready to wear that I've altered and I saved the fabric from one to make something else, but I think I will put that on 
my next video and maybe I'll have a bit more sewing in that one because I too I do plan to do more sewing but I do tend to like to sew in the daylight and um, so after work when it's dark I don't like doing it then it can only really be on the weekends and my days off and like I say I've been doing a little bit more work on my days off because we're very busy and also on the weekends we've been out with friends or family and uh, which is as it should be but I haven't had much sewing time so I think it'll all start calming down now towards the spring and I should hopefully get some more sewing done then so thank you for watching I'm sorry it's a bit rambly I wrote notes and then I just went on off on different tangents and made it up as I went along so um, thank you for staying until the end if you did and um, hopefully I shall see you very soon with another video. Bye for now.